Order Laser Master 3 Batch Engraving. The first step is to make a small batch of engraving tools. Put in the engraving platform to prevent the table from being cut or burned. The engraving platform can be equipped by yourself. Put in the fixture material. Start the machine. After resetting the laser module, if the position of the fixture material is beyond the engraving range of the laser module, you can adjust the position of the fixture material appropriately. Adjust the focal length. After confirming that there are no errors, turn on your computer and start Lightburn. Select the model of the machine you are using. Connect to the port. The display shows OK indicating a successful connection. Select absolute coordinates for the start position. Select the icon displayed in the lower left corner. Find the created tooling templates and import them into Lightburn. AI and DXF formats. Top X equals 10mm and top Y equals 10mm. Start engraving layer contents. Click on reset to check if you are at the start point. In order to better distinguish between the fixture and the content to be engraved, we need to create two cutting layers. Click on the fixture layer. Enter the engraving or cutting parameters according to the material. This time constant power mode is not turned on. Constant power mode is turned on in cutting mode. Click OK. Close the engraving layer. Click on Reset to determine the position at the start point. Click on the border to determine the position. Click to start. The second step of the small batch engraving operation. Close the fixture layer. Open the engraving layer. Enter engraving parameters according to the material. This demonstration is line mode. Engraving needs to select the fill mode. Engraving need to turn off the constant power mode. Click OK. Click reset again to determine if you are at the start point. Click on the border to determine the position. Click start.